Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Damien of Molokai. Father Damien de Wister, a fellow member of the Sacred Heart Congregation, was introduced to the lepers at Molokai by Bishop Louis Maigret in May 1873. The words that the bishop used for Damien's arrival on the island at the age of 33 changed the world's view of the dreaded disease, giving it as it did a new human dimension which before that was unheard of. Horrified at what he saw, Damien single-handedly went about caring for the lepers as nurse, surgeon, counselor, comforter and builder, building new houses, new church, new school and an orphanage. He also was the coffin maker and grave digger, all rolled in one. A sagging morale was revived and further boosted when he succeeded in getting the Franciscan sisters of Syracuse led by Mother Mary and Cope to help staff the fast expanding colony. He was also instrumental in obtaining long pending government support. Ironically, in 1885, the very disease Damien tried to fight in others found him easy prey, news of which brought him messages of genuine concern and grief by the thousand from royalty and commoner alike. Damien, however, delighted in sharing so closely in the illness of his fellow men for the sake of God's love, giving of himself unceasingly, working tirelessly right up to the last, even begging frantically, determined to ensure all benefits possible for the victims of leprosy at Molokai. It was eventually on the 15th of April, 1889, that Damien like a child with a smile on his face died aged barely 49 and he was hailed as the hero of Molokai Christian Joseph at his birth on the 3rd of January 1840 in Tremblou Belgium Damien was ordained priest in May 1864 in the cathedral of Our Lady of Peace in Honolulu and worked for 8 years as a missionary in Hawaii before volunteering to go to Molokai his work at Molokai did not go unnoticed in the civil world of his time in September 1881 the acting queen of Hawaii princess Lilia Kalani visited the settlement with a view to delivering a public address there so overwhelmed was she with the suffering she encountered that she wept bitterly instead of speaking her majesty later invested damien with the order of knight commander of the royal order of kalakua the mortal remains of this great angel of mercy were initially laid to rest beside the church in molokai near his favorite pendanus tree in 1936 the belgium government succeeded in having them moved out of their island grave to his homeland where his own brethren could honor him suitably it is edifying to note that the king of belgium leopold iii himself led his people in doing the honors a portion of the remains was however returned to his hawaiian brethren as a goodwill gesture after he was beatified by pope john paul ii on the 4th of june 1995 he was canonized by pope benedict xvi on the 11th of October 2009